a giant koi fish to just let everybody know <laughs> that they're selling fish here too. It's not just waterfalls. Who wouldn't want this cabin overlooking this pond? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you are about to see when you get to the chairs is unbelievable. We look at those platinum ogons. Hey, it's uh, five o'clock in the morning and it is a super busy day. I'm leaving with Colleen Heitzler, our president, to upstate New York and check out some really cool retail stores, hopefully with some inspiration and some new ideas for our store. So I can't wait to do that. Now let's grab this coffee and get the heck out of here. One thing I hate doing, hate, is getting gas. So I just barely made it. I couldn't post the trip here. Good news is that I'm on the plane and just over here, Colleen, uh -huh. they made it. Okay, <laughs> this is good. So here we are at Decker's Pondscapes. Love, love, love this place. And I'm getting a lot out of it. I love the way they merchandise things. So check this out. A nice little indoor pond, of course, crystal clear water. I love that the skimmer box is right here. So it's super easy to show everybody how it works. It's not hidden in, in like it would be outside. They've got some of the tree stumps. My favorite though is this patio bowl. Everybody always asks, how do I decorate it? Nice little waterfall. Mini stacked urn, really cool stump right here with moss growing all over it. Nice counter, lots of merchandise on the counter. I like that there's this shelf down and through here. Even some refreshments, fairy garden stuff. Now let me take you outside. Awesome waterfall. Bog filter up on top here comes down. This waterfall at the bottom is actually pretty cool. I love the little split and the little secret fall over there, but my favorite part is that. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's just a little trickle of water that comes out from that area there, just causing that rock to be wet all the time. And come over here, really cool pondless waterfall, literally coming out of nowhere. Really awesome stream. The Japanese maple is incredible. Comes out underneath this and then check out this. Who wouldn't want this cabin overlooking this pond? Crystal clear, four feet deep. And then the pathway continues. He's created that mystery. So around every turn, you keep seeing something else. And once you get here, of course you see the beauty of the spears, but then you discover this little area. So a cool little spot with the bowls. One thing I took away, how there's a waterfall that comes into the bowl before this comes over. That's awesome. Then I discover this small little pond. What's so nice about stuff like this is this is something that can fit in almost any yard. And look at how the creeping jenny and the juniper just completely make it look so natural. So glad I got to come out here. Um, I love all these features. I could spend an entire day showing you the rest of them, but what would be better is for you guys to actually come out here yourself. It's worth the drive, looking at the landscape, looking at all the different water features and tell me which one is your favorite. We only have about another five, 10 minutes we can spend here before we go check out another garden center. We had a long drive, got in here kind of late last night, so it wasn't really conducive for filming, but I had to show you this place, and I knew I'd get up early, early this morning and show you Tom Smith, the owner of Garden State Coy's property. This is the pathway I just walked through. You're greeted by this small pond on this side, small pond on this side, which you don't know is these ponds are actually connected, and water goes through a tube under here and actually comes out this way and then sucked into the skimmer. So the fish can effortlessly move from this side of the pond to this side of the pond. Call that a land bridge. And what you are about to see when you get to the chairs is unbelievable. Check out this pond. It all starts up here with an old Grande Biofalls. 
and then moves down this way. Bog filter tied in to the main stream, which is fed by this large waterfall here. All coming back down through this long stream into the big koi pond. These big destination boulders, these big flat rocks, the way the water comes right to the edge. It goes down about seven feet deep, so you can dive off of this rock down into the deep water. I want this. <laughs> we are leaving here in about 10 minutes. We're gonna go check out Tom's place of business where he sells a bunch of his projects, has a retail store, sells fish. Hoping to learn a lot from him, but I've already made this trip worth my while. This place is amazing. So we made it to Garden State Koi, and I just sat in on a really inspiring meeting. What I took back from it the most is what they focused on was the positive things of each other. So not only did each person have to get up and say something positive about one of their teammates, but they also talked about positive customer interactions that they've had. It's so easy to focus on the negatives, and you can tell that they genuinely care about all their customers. I'm not only inspired by the incredible team that Garden State Koi has, but also this garden center. And let me show you around a little bit what I'm talking about. There's endless, endless, I mean more than I can count different water features. I love more the way they retail a lot of their aquatic plants. I really wanna change some things back at Aquascape. Notice how the plant is raised. It makes it really easy for people to look over, unlike when you come over on this side and things are down. Nobody wants to bend all the way over. I also like the masses they have and a huge variety. It is very clear to me that Garden State Koi is a destination store and people will travel great distances to come because they know when they get here, they are gonna find what they're looking for. Look how easy the water lettuce is to get to. Frame that's put over the top of these lily troughs. The purpose for the frame is so when it's colder outside, they can actually put a clear vinyl tarp over the top of this, turning this into a little mini greenhouse, which allows the plants to grow and stay healthier during those cold seasons. You can see they've integrated some of the new products. They've got the stack slate sphere, there's stack slate walls. The ponds look really mature. Love the stepping stones. That leads you over to a lot of the fish tanks, which are clearly labeled, super clean. We look at those platinum ogons. Super nice. This is their potting shed. This is their heated greenhouse where they keep a lot of the tropical plants. Look at all of these tropical lilies. If this was a garden center, two hours away, I would have no problem traveling this distance to get all the way out here. It's just incredible. And I'll take you through the retail store. So here they've got all the fish food, lights, water treatments. They've got the patio bowls all laid out, a little fogger in there, fitting center. I love how they've got the fitting on the outside of the box. And then check out this greenhouse. <laughs> really cool. Tell me what you liked about this place. I think Garden State Koi, not only the facility, but their team, one of the best in the country, if not the world. And if you're ever out here in upstate New York, make sure you check this place out because it's worth the visit. One more stop, let's go. I'm here at Atlantis Water Garden retail stop. First, look behind me at all the traffic. You can tell just from all the cars, it's a destination spot and everybody wants to come here. Look at these water features that entice people to come into this store. Is this not just absolutely incredible? Look at the different spillway bowls falling into each other, the different urns, the bottom half. 
of I'm guessing maybe that urn creatively notched out to get five different falls on it. A giant koi fish to just let everybody know <laughs> that they're selling fish here too. It's not just waterfalls. Their sign is easily seen. Really simple, just incredible. I love, love this section of waterfalls right in here. Just incredible. Awesome job, Jack and team. How awesome is it that they found a store location with a natural creek that runs year round? I love the way they've merchandised their water lilies in these simple troughs. The signage is fantastic. And then this is absolutely my favorite part outside. The way they've laid this out, I think is probably the best I've ever seen. There's one, two, three, four, five features in a really small, tight space. There's not a person that couldn't picture this in their space. You come over here, love the signage. Obviously, ponds are getting bigger, so small, medium, Tranquility Deluxe. We continued up these stairs, which are really cool in their own way. You're gonna notice an absolutely incredible little pondless waterfall, lots of twists and turns. As you come up here, you see the bigger version of the three ponds. The sound of the highway is really drowned out over here. We've got this great pergola, a seating area that anybody can picture having in their backyard. And look at this pond with that great long babbling brook stream that looks like it appears just out of the middle of nowhere. You have no idea how far it goes back. It's just incredible, great job. Now let me take you guys into the retail store. I would say arguably one of the nicest retail stores I've ever seen. <laughs> You're always greeted by smiling faces. <laughs> it's the simple things for me. I love the way everything's merchandised. It's this little stuff that not every other place has. The way she's displayed the patio bowls is just incredible. That's a simple fogger and just totally changes your experience with the spillway bowl. It's a tiny space and every inch of this place is utilized to its fullest capacity. I come down over here. Obviously, this is all the fish, and then all the fish food, so everything is exactly where it needs to be. Every step I take, I discover another room. This is obviously lights. A couple of the lights here on display. They've got the new color changing lights. You just spin the dial, and we come this way. And then, yeah, there's more. It just keeps going and going, and it's not that much square footage. This is all your water treatments and pumps. And then just outside this door is my favorite. This had to take an epic amount of time to do. So you see this staircase, right? Goes all the way up and to the side, they built a little mini turtle pond. I'd almost call it a very garden turtle pond. And then just look at the detail on this. And then you go into one of the best, most cozy, comfortable, family feeling conference room slash offices I've ever been in. It's just an awesome space. I hope you guys have enjoyed our tour around upstate New York and part of New Jersey. It was very inspirational to me. If you guys are ever up here, make sure you hit Deckers, you hit Garden State Koi, and you come to Atlantis Water Gardens. Tell me which one was your favorite store. This is Brian, Team Aquascape, signing out. <laughs>